Mystery Tackle Box Elite for July 2018. Got a Yozuri White Bait, a Booyah Lipless, Gamagatsu Offset Shank Worm Hooks 3 Alt, Mustad Ultra Point Big Eyed Bucktail Jig. I've never seen this. Dobbins spinnerbait. This is probably the best spinnerbait out right now, in my opinion. Yamamoto 5 inch green pumpkin Cinco's. The green pumpkin watermelon. Some ginormous curly tailed worms by Big O. Cool little sticker. For those of us that grew up in the 80s, we can definitely respect this sticker. Hold on, bud. A freaking Whopper Plopper, the new 110 size. Catalog for the new Carl Showcase and your Double Digest. And a little hand still on my sticker. Just like every month, you have the Mystery Tackle Box catch, share, release, and win. I'm sorry, it's catch, measure, share to win. First up is the Whopper 110. This is a Phantom Shad, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yep, there it is. Um, if you don't know about this bait, you've been living under a rock. It gets caught. Throw this over fallen trees where nothing's sticking up in the water on top of submerged vegetation, and you get some good blow ups. They have a good hookup ratio with these two. I've not lost very many fish or missed very many fish. If they commit to it, you normally get them on there. You get a cool plopping sound. That's why the name's Whopper Plopper from the tail. It's an awesome topwater bait. Next up is the Yozuri 3DB weight bait floating. It's got the 3D prism belly, some rattles. This thing should get caught. They should catch fish for sure. Hard to resist the weight bait and then it's got the prism on the bottom for more effect. This is pretty sweet bait. I've never seen the, the weight bait version of this thing. Next up is the Booyah. Next up is the Booyah Hard Knocker. It's in a ghost green crawl pattern. Got some good loud knocks in there. Should make a lot of noise. It's a heavy, heavy one too, so it'll get down deep for you. Three quarter ounce. These get bit, no doubt about it. It's that time of the year, slow, slow roll it on the bottom. They won't be able to resist this puppy. Next up is the Dobbins. The Dobbins D Blade Beast Spinnerbait. Again, I think this is the best spinnerbait on the market right now. The color is chartreuse, shimmering shad, or something like that. These things are getting smashed for me right now. This Big O's Eliminator, it's like a big curly tail grub. Perfect for a it's a green pumpkin color, but it's perfect for trailers on spinnerbait. If you rig them the correct way, you get great action. It's what all the Googans used in Mexico to catch all those ginormous bass fishing with Mr. Big O. I think they were using something very similar. Uh, but they're using a lot heavier spinner baits. This isn't exactly what I thought it was. I thought it was a little curly tail grub, but it's more of a goby imitator or something of that nature. This thing's pretty freaking sweet. You can still use it on the back of a or as a trailer or on a little ball head jig. This thing would have a lot of motion has a very stinky smell too. It smells like shrimp or something. But these, these should be for tournament anglers. You're gonna get bit on these for sure. 
Next up is a Yamamoto Cinco's 5 inch green pumpkin watermelon. If you don't know about these, I don't know where you've been living, but get a huge pack. Texas rig, wacky rig, however you want to, they're going to get bit. Next up is the Gamagatsu 3 alt offset chink worm hooks. Good for the Cinco's or maybe even those little curly tailed things. Next up is the Mustad Ultra Point Big Eyed Bucktail Jig. This is good for deep water. Yo yo them, throw them out, sew them back. They're good for saltwater fishing too. They should name this box the Get Bit Box. There's a bunch of awesome stuff in this month's box. Again, this is the Mystery Tackle Box elite box check them out can't go wrong with this box it's i think 40 bucks and you get well over that and tackle all right y'all have a great week tight lines